Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode 27 of my SPSS tutorial videos here on YouTube. First of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I want to make Bas PSS grow as much as possible, so every single like and subscription would be very much appreciated. So today we're going to uh, take a look at quite a separate topic. Uh, I don't think it's used that often. But uh, in case you do need this, then this video will be the perfect explanation on how to work with ratio. And what we're going to take a look at today is this data set I have right in front of me. And we're going to take a look at three uh, different variables, which are gender. Uh, the zero is a woman and a, man, uh, and a one are males. Then the income of these respondents in 2014 and the income of these respondents in 2015. And what I want to know in this case, ratio, is you can uh, you can find out it's like a simple math. It's like x divided by y. In this case, I want to know the ratio between the income earned in 2015 and the income earned in 2014. In that way, you get the ratio, you get the uh, the r of uh, with how much the salary has risen, with how many percent. But to make it even slightly more difficult. I want this to be uh, to be moderated by gender. If you don't know what a moderation is, then uh, please have a look at my previous episodes. I think somewhere around 19, somewhere like that, uh, in which I explain very uh, detailedly how uh, uh, how moderation works. But we want to do a ratio in this case. So uh, the income of 2015 divided by the income of 2014. So in that way, you calculate the percentage with which with how much the income has risen for these 25 respondents and we want this to be moderated by so divided by the two gender groups so it's quite easy actually you go to analyze descriptive statistics ratio and then you select the numerator is income 2015 the denominator is income 2014 the group variable is gender you can leave this as it is. Then at statistics, you have to select the mean as a central tendency, very important, and the median. Uh, and you can also select over here the COD, the PRD, and the median centered uh, COV, but I won't go into too much details on that. Then you press continue. Then you press paste. Then if a syntax hasn't opened already, then it will now. Then you select the lines of code in your syntax and press the big green run selection button. Then now in the output screen you can first of all see a case summary which shows that the uh, which shows the n of the genders so that there are 13 females and 12 males. And then in the ratio t statistics for income 2015 divided by income 2014 you can see that the means are 1.030 for females and 1.023 for males. So now we can make the conclusion that uh, for uh, both men and women their, uh, their uh, income has increased. For females their uh, income has increased with 3% and for males their income has increased with 2.3%. And we can uh, even see, it, and therefore we can conclude that female that the rise in income has been bigger for females than it has been for males, but both have risen. Um, then there is the uh, medians, uh, the coefficient of variation of the median centered, uh, and this shows percentages of how much uh, uh, the ratios are around the median. So it shows uh, 1.027 as this median and 1.012 for the ma median for males. And it shows the percentage as how, to how uh, clustered all the ratios are around the median. And the higher the percentage this gives, the uh, more they are, uh, the, the more central they are. But in this case, it's only 2.3% and 3.2%. So therefore, it means that those uh, that all the ratios have been very much spread across the uh, across the matrix. So there is a very low central. Uh, there's a very low centrality. So a lot of outliers. 
Okay, and that was it. This is the basics about ratio. I'm not going into details on the price related differential and coefficient of dispersion. Uh, but this was the basics on how to do a ratio in SPSS uh, with a moderator. And if this video was helpful, if it helped you uh, understand what a ratio actually is, then please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any questions on this topic or on any other topic, then uh, leave the question in the comment section down below. I answer it almost every single day or else at least in the same week. And for now guys, I'm out. Ciao.